Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, March the 12th. I'm James Spann. 21 years ago, the blizzard of 93 was starting. Today, strong cold front, but no snow this time. But it's going to be very windy later today and turning sharply colder. Uh, let's check the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite view. You can see those two waves affecting the southeast. One is uh, passing through, though it's the one that brought the rain last night. The axis is a little east of the state now. And then the second one up in the northern branch is uh, digging down our way, and that's going to help pull down the colder air this afternoon. And as we've talked about for days, we're going to start the day relatively mild. We've got low 60s on the board at daybreak. Uh, Birmingham at 61. Cold front comes through about midday, and after that it will be windy, and we see falling temperatures as this cold air begins to drop in from the north. Uh, we'll expect temperatures to drop into the upper 40s by evening. Howling north winds of 15 to 30. We have a wind advisory basically for all of Alabama except for the southeastern tip of the state around Dothan. And up north, winter storm warnings. The county's in pink from Chicago to Maine. Looks like blizzard warnings in effect around Buffalo, New York. Speaking of blizzards, we had one 21 years ago. They're having one up there today. A little more common up in that part of the world. We should note there is a risk of severe thunderstorms today uh, for parts of Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, up around Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, almost up to Philadelphia with that front. But down this way, no thunder, no severe weather, and really rain amount should be relatively light today. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week, suggesting about one inch here. And again, a little bit today, but the weekend will be wet at times, as you will see. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the global forecast system, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see how things are kind of phasing up there, the trough digging down over the east. And uh, that's a deal at uh, midday today. We've got a very deep surface low that's west of Washington, 987 millibars. You see the potential for the big snows north of that thing. You can see why there's a blizzard warning for Buffalo with that tight pressure gradient. And it will be very tight as well here. We'll have strong north winds uh, this afternoon, 15 to 30 miles an hour. And uh, we should fall into the upper 40s by probably 5 or 6 o'clock this evening. So a day with temperatures going the wrong way. And a band of showers will be likely along the front at midday, but uh, rain amounts not all that heavy. Tomorrow, we start the day below freezing. Upper 20s, low 30s around here. The uh, day will be sunny with a high in the low 50s in most spots. And this is Friday. Friday morning is going to be cold. Again, a, a light freeze possible in spots, probably low to mid 30s. And the high Friday afternoon should be back in the middle 60s with a good supply of sunshine. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday. You can see the energetic southern stream. And down below that, the weather looking showery on Saturday. No real change in our thinking. Uh, will it rain all day? No. Uh, could it rain at any time? Yes. Thunderstorms? Probably not. Severe weather? No. Uh, but just keep in mind, if you have something planned outdoors, you know it's the opening day of turkey season. A lot of people will be out, uh, baseball, things like that. Just be aware. Bring some rain gear. It's going to rain at times, but not all day, and probably nothing extremely heavy. This is kind of hinting off the GFS that the most widespread rain might come Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. As you can see, a surface low is uh, getting its act together over Arkansas. Uh, Sunday you can see that we've still got a pool of moisture in place, nothing to really scour that out. And while the rain on Sunday probably will not be organized, uh, we're still going to mention the chance of lingering showers for sure. And you see colder air just north of the state, but 1040 high near Minneapolis-St. Paul, but the bulk of that's going to stay north of us. This is Sunday morning off the European at uh, 7 a.m. 
and it still looks pretty wet. Uh, in fact, it's got some maybe decent rains, so maybe over one inch down there below Montgomery. But clearly, we'll need to keep a chance of uh, showers or light rain going at times into Sunday. So kind of a cloudy, showery weekend. Uh, highs should be mostly in the 60s both days. This is Monday. Uh, drier air noses in from the north. A little cooler. The high would be around 60 as the rain is shunted down to the south near the Gulf Coast. And this is uh, Tuesday. Should be a day with seasonal temperatures. Uh, low around 40. The high would be in the middle 60s. And a week from today, we stay in dry air. Highs mid to upper 60s. So uh, at this point, a pretty good chunk of next week looks dry and quiet. This is March 24th. Looks kind of wet. In the end of the forecast on March 27th, troughing developing over the east and a cold front coming in here. We've seen some evidence that the uh, latter part of the month could be relatively wet. But then again, hey, this is the wettest month of the year. It's supposed to rain a lot in March. But the good news, we don't see any severe weather threats of any major importance at least for now in the next uh, 15 days or so that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes in the blog next video here by four o'clock today if you can catch us on abc 3340 news this evening on the live stream of the television side at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great day and god bless